I found out about Unity through the Seekers Trust. I was away um, doing an angel meditation and I found the Daily Word. And um, I, we just moved to High Wycombe, so we're looking at about probably 13, 14 years now. And at the bottom, there was um, a number that said Unity Maidenhead, Silent Unity Prayer Line. So I'm always interested in anything to do with spirituality or, you know, always looking to find my inner peace. So I thought oh, I'll give them a ring and I was surprised to find out that they were literally about 20 minutes down the road from us because we lived a lot nearer. Oh. And uh, I remember we walked into that beautiful house and there was Doreen and Kim Marie and um, I think there was Dor th those were the two people and um, Pat I think and the love. I, I'm the kind of person that I really have not had a lot of unconditional love. I've had very little um, in my childhood and growing up. And uh, But I was, and you know, going to a church or anything, I was never felt that compassion and love that I felt. The minute we walked in, we were welcome. And it was like it enveloped you. And that really touched me. Mm -hmm. Something touched me. And then I suppose what really attracted me was... Um, talking about Myrtle Fillmore, because I was, I'm a Louise Hay uh, trained counsellor mm. and I was doing the journey and I 100% believed that anything could be released from the body anyhow. And then I got told that this is what Unity does and it's based on Myrtle Fillmore who actually healed herself. I was like, wow, mm. I didn't know this existed. And then of course the abundance thing, I was very interested in that, it wouldn't be. And I just thought this is different. Mm very different and um, but it, it was that the smiles and the 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 compassion and that feeling of being wanted mm. because for years and years I I've, I was doing the journey on myself and learning how to heal everything mm. in the physical body and so I I quite I, I totally felt that the denials and affirmations for me it worked really well and um, because we are higher than the condition and, and I love the fact that whatever I say, said in meetings or if we had a workshop was always taken with so much mm. respect and again I'm, I'm, I'm a child that comes from a family um, not so much from my parents but my sibling who or people where I grew up where they I was not affirmed and every time I opened my mouth I was told to be quiet and I wasn't given the chance to be me and to say what I feel, and yet in unity, I'm respected. Um, the prayer line has been keeping me afloat. Um, everyone is so loving and so beautiful and so caring, and I really do feel like I've connected to the angels. I don't feel like uh, um, that it's anything to do with religion anymore. Mm. I think prayer, again, when you're brought up in a different religion, then it has a connotation of religion. But that's gone for me now. Mm. Um, and so when I ring up, I know that I'm going to get someone who, everybody knows me now. And they and I don't have to go through the story. See, that's one of the good things, is everybody knows what's happened to me. Mm. The story has become unimportant. Like if I ring the Samaritans, I have to go through the story over and over. And uh, the other day I actually made a, t a recording so I could play it to them. Because the story actually makes me worse. Mm -hmm. I get less, you know, I feel worse. Yeah. So what I like about the prayer line is it's in the moment. And it's, uh, there's always someone there that is dedicating their life to try their best to help mm -hmm. me to connect when I can't. And... I think what's happened to me over this year is I've had a lot of time where I have been very disconnected from, mm. from spirit and I've been very, very angry about what's happened to me. This has been the worst year of my life. As I say, an annus horribilis. My dad died um, six months now, literally, and I broke my leg. And all my friends abandoned me, <laughs> apart from my husband. And so uh, it became a really, it was like I was alone, totally alone. Mm. So I've, be, I've literally probably reached out to the prayer line. Well, actually, when Dad got sick, I started to reach out to the prayer line every day, I think, mm. just mm. to get that energy and just to have that, uh, to get into that vibration. What I love, I mean, I know all of you on the prayer line now, and everyone works differently. Every single one of you, and I mean, if I can mention, like, for example, Sheila. 
she will not let you go into another vibration she won't permit you so there are times when Sheila said to me right do you want to pray or not and if you don't want to then you know we won't do it but so I sometimes you know that's like the tough love it's also I, I I'm I need I love people I I want to say I need people which is one of my attachments but it's true I don't believe we're meant to be here alone mm. and I don't like it when I get a recording I won't listen to it I'll be totally honest it's the person's voice it's that calming loving mm. And it's become part of life now. And when dad was sick and he, I remember putting it to his ear, putting the phone to his ear mm. and we listened to the prayer line together. Mm, and um, it was very comforting mm. over in Israel just to be able to Skype. <laughs> and um, mm. it was beautiful. I just said, oh, dad's here. Can we say a prayer together? Yes. And, nice. But I tell everyone about the prayer line because... A lot of people think they have to carry everything on their own. Mm. I never ring the prayer line more than once. Maybe I think, maybe I have done, but I feel that it, so much is given in that in that time that I feel, and I know I know that sometimes there's not enough people. Mm. So I, I feel that once I've done it, then you know that's it. Mm. I've got my my time now, mm. and I ha somebody else gets mm. it, but. It's invaluable. In the world that we live in, um, there's very little. There's there's really nothing. Mm. Um, I've I've found that the hard way. If you don't have a close family, if you don't have friends that are not fair weather friends, to be totally honest, then there's very, very little. Mm. There's nothing, apart from the prayer line, the Samaritans, and I think there may be a UCB prayer line. I don't know about that. But again, that to me is too much towards Christianity. Mm. And of course, unity now is, is home. Mm. I know everyone. I feel like you are all my family and friends. People just accept you. And the Sunday services are, are beautiful. Um, what really touches me is, is the um, Ken's done meditations about love. Yes. It's all about love. Mm. And, you know, I sometimes come, feel like I'm, I'm a different species in this world. Mm. I really do feel, especially lately, that I come from plan. I've always said this. I come from another planet called love. That's my religion. Mm. Love, isn't that amazing? You know, not a Jew, not a Christian. Just love. That is my religion, mm. and and millions of people around the world are agreeing with me. So when I go to a service at Unity now, there's still a tiny bit of me that feels you're a Jew. What you're doing here? Mm. You're praying to. You're you're not praying to Jesus, but Jesus. Is, is the representative yeah. here. And I, as I say, I don't believe Jesus is yeah. God. I believe, yeah. but unity doesn't either. That's me, that's my mm. stuff. But the love thing comes across mm. and we sing and I've, I found my voice. Um, uh, part of the reason I do gospel, I could never do that before, is because I, I blurt it out. And, and um, also what I love is, um, I don't like choirs because my ego won't let me mm. go and sing in a choir unless I'm a soloist. But with unity, I feel I can blend. And that means that there's, I've gone past that with unity, mm. that there's, we all blend together. And on Sunday, it was very touching because it was all about Christmas and, and family. And of course, the tears were flowing because of dad. But one thing was my dad taught me harmonies. It was him. We used to go to the synagogue together and dad would start doing the harmonies. It's very new, all of this. And um, on Sunday when I sang the harmonies, I thought, oh, that's you, dad. <laughs>